Hey, it's Dora with Tactical Hive. In today's video, we're gonna be covering how to stay in the fight with pistol, one-handed. So we're back, and today it's all about staying in the fight. All right, for all intents and purposes, we're gonna place ourselves in a situation we've already been hit once to our hand, but we need to keep our pistol up and running and in the fight. So we're gonna cover some tips and tricks, some techniques I learned along the way. We'll see if any of them work for you. All right, guys, for shooting one-handed, everything does stay the same, but the little things become more important, okay? I'm down to one hand. I've got this thing pulled up against my chest. It's completely out of play. So I'm gonna make sure my grip is nice and solid. My touch points are good to go. Everything else stays the same, right? I have side alignment, side picture, prepping the trigger, taking shots, all right? Follow-up shots are gonna be a little bit more challenging, but that's okay. We're gonna do our best. All right, now if we're gonna switch hands, say my right hand got hurt, God forbid, that's okay, all right? Support side shooting is very doable. Everything stays the same, you just need to practice. I tend to cant my sights to the right a little bit because I'm right eye dominant, just like so. Then go ahead and take shots. like so. All right, so that was the shooting portion. Uh, moving on, we're gonna cover reloads. First method will be between the thighs. Um, this one works with either hand. It's not really good for mobility, but you know, that's okay, it does the job. You're gonna have to stop, do what you gotta do, and then continue moving. All right, so come out with one hand, taking shots, go dry, drop your source. Gun goes between the thighs, new magazine in. Rack the gun along your kit, whatever you have, punch right back out, and go ahead and take shots, just like so. All right, so next method, only works really on your strong side, well, at least works well, but you'll go ahead, you'll be taking shots one-handed, you'll run dry, just like so. Drop your source, pistol goes right back into the holster, reach over, get a new magazine, get it in there, pistol comes out, clears your kit, slide forward, back out, Taking shots, just like so. So this next one, we're gonna be crouched down behind cover. We're on our support side. Right hand is out of commish. We'll go ahead, punch out, take a shot. You need to drop the source. I'm gonna stow the pistol back behind my knee like so, nice and secure. Get a new source out, get it in the gun, clear my kit, back in the fight. So another method you can use for one-handed reloads is uh, if you still have the function of your upper arm, say my right hand is injured, but I still can move you know, from the elbow up, still have good shoulder function. As I can go out, I can take a shot, drop the source. When I'm dry, go ahead and stick the gun up underneath my arm as best I can. Get a new magazine in. Go ahead, clear myself. Get the rack on the belt line and get right back on it. Just like so. Okay, I like this method, keeps everything up in my workspace, but again, it's all dependent on whether or not I still have any use of this arm whatsoever. So if you do, something maybe to think about. All right, so another added advantage for using your arm to reload, if you can, is my legs are completely and totally free. I can move, I can, whatever I gotta do. I can move laterally, I can seek cover, whatever I gotta do, I am not hindered by trying to pull off one of these or one of these. I have complete and total freedom of movement and uh, that is a good thing to have given the situation. Okay guys, so we've covered shooting, stronger support side, and we've covered reload, stronger support side, all with the use of just the one hand. Up next, we're gonna cover one-handed draw. Obviously, if your support side is down and your right side, your right strong side is good, the draw is very simple, very easy. But in the event your strong support, your strong side is down, you gotta get it out with this one, so we're gonna cover that next. Techniques for going across from support to strong side is if you have the ability to reach, depending on your kit and body type, you can go ahead and do so. Um, I'm gonna contort myself a little bit. Go ahead and get this thing out. I have it in my hand just like so. I'm gonna press it up against my plate carrier and rotate it around, just like so. Not the best, but it's what I got. All right, so here's another iteration of that. We'll go ahead and slow it down. I'm gonna go ahead and reach across my body as best I can, even with kit on. Defeat retention, but I'm gonna grab the pistol grip, 
bring the gun straight up to my chest like so, then I'm going to rotate it into my hand, just like this. Now I'm pretty much ready to fire. From here, I can punch out and take shots. All right, one more time. Go ahead and reset. I'm gonna reach across my body, defeat retention. Get my hand on the pistol grip, bring it straight up to the plate carrier, rotate it into my hand, punch out to take shots. This is gonna require some practice. Make sure you do so, clear it safe. All right guys, another method for transferring your strong side pistol to your weak side is go ahead once again, reach over, defeat retention, get a hold of that pistol grip, bring the pistol across your lower body belt line, careful not to flag yourself, place the pistol at the top of your leg, right here in this crook, and then before you let go, raise your leg to defeat gravity, then make the switch. Now I've got a good grip, punch out to take shots. All right, guys, so here's another rep to show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go ahead, reach across my body, get a hold of the pistol grip, defeat retention, bring the gun across my belt line, careful not to flag myself. I'm gonna go ahead and place the gun right here at the top of my leg, right in this little crook area right here. And before I release my grip that I have, I'm gonna bring my leg up just ever so slightly to, de to defeat gravity, reestablish my grip, bring my leg back down, and I'm ready to punch out and take shots. All right, guys, so that was some tips and tricks that I picked up along the way. We covered uh, one-handed shooting, one-handed reloads, transfer from a strong holster to support side. I hope this helps you guys out. You know, just because you're down doesn't mean you're out. You gotta stay in the fight. This is Dor with Tactical Hive. I'll see you next time.